Alrighty, what's going on guys? How's everybody doing today? Um We already know what happens all over social media. Carson wins straight into the Colts. Um I can't stop, stop looking at this first post that's there. Um in exchange for a third round pick in this draft and a second round pick that could turn into a first next year. I don't know. Not a good trade in my opinion. They could have gotten so much more. Well maybe not so much more, but they could have gotten like this could have been a second, right? This could have been a guaranteed first. And at least that just sounds better. <clears throat> Maybe like an actual player that's, that's, I don't know. I feel like they just could have gotten so much more. Um, And then I tweeted out, uh, I tweeted something. Like the Patriots, we got like, we could have given them two thirds for this draft, right? Maybe our second and a third, right? In this draft, because the Patriots have the fifteenth, whatever pick in the second, and I think we got three third round picks. So we could have traded two thirds in this year's draft, right? Granted, like two thirds, you know, maybe better than the second they'll probably get next year. That's a possibility. Or, well, two thirds in this draft might be better than the second they'll probably get next year, or a second and a third in this draft. Maybe we we do a second and two thirds for for Wentz and Earth, right? You know, maybe we could do something like that. Right? Awesome. I think we could have done that, right? A second and two thirds for Wentz and Earth. I'd do it. Like, right? If this is what what you're gonna get, or if if you're Belichick, you're probably gonna do a second, a third, and a fourth for Wentz and Earth. This is Belichick. He's, he, Especially seeing, like, I think I heard Belichick offered a second and some random player for Stafford. Like, that's disrespectful. <laughs> Belichick is disrespectful, man. He just, he's low-key about it, but he's disrespectful. Shout out to Nina. I follow her. She's cool people. Um, uh, This is the first post I see right under this. So, I mean, I'm going to shout her out. Nina's cool people. We're in a draft together. I fuck with her. If y'all watching this and you want to follow me on Twitter, follow her too. She's cool people. She has like some of the best fantasy um, football tweets. So my little shout out to her. Um, so now that um, Wentz is gone, okay, lighting's not that. So now that Wentz is gone, obviously a lot of the talks for New England in terms of quarterback is, as you can even see here, you can trade a fifth and kill Harry for Ertz. Might as well, right? If that's what you're gonna get for for Wentz, we can do this for Ertz. I'm 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 cool with that. Because Ertz's value, he shouldn't have any value left. Um. But obviously, the talks is gonna be Jimmy G. He's you know the most popular target now for New England in terms of who we're gonna get for quarterback out of like free agency or trade if we don't include the draft. If you include the draft, people are talking about either Trey Lance or Mac Jones. I'm cool with either or taking at 15 or if we move up for Trey. I'm cool with that. But outside of the draft, looking at free agency and possible trades, the biggest rumor right now is Marcus Mariota. Like, what is he going to go for now that um, Wentz went for pocket change? So Marcus Mariota is project the starter according to Field Yates. So um, we can look up highlights of Marcus Mariota in that one game he played. Marcus highlights one game. All right? How long is this? Yeah, we can watch a quick two-minute highlight. Because he looked pretty good um, in this one game against the Chargers when he played for Oakland when Derek Carr went down. Look at it, He can still move. He clearly can still move. Throw on the run, running to his, his left. That, that looked really good. I, I was watching this game, and I was like, oh, he, he looks better than he did in Tennessee. Yeah, see, he clearly can still move. Obviously, missing time didn't take anything away from him. He's taking the hits, and he's still going. That's a good ball. That is a good ball. 
Cam, I mean, I'm, you know, no shade towards Cam, but he's not made. Maybe he completes it, right? But it's a, you know, it's going to be a scary throw. Look at this, the keeper. Look at that. You know, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. He sees the pressure. He gets rid. He gets rid of it. Decent pass. Good play. Moving, moving back in the pocket. There's play action on the run. He's just gonna take it. And he gets the first down. Does he get it? I think he gets it. Forward progress. I think he went down before he lost it. So. Yep, see, first target. Good throw. Very good throw, actually. Only where the receiver can get it. Moving up in the pocket. Doesn't see an open guy. He takes it. Takes off with it. Ooh. Now, we don't want him taking hits like that. <clears throat> That's a good throw. That is a good throw. He's navigating the pocket. Woo! Right over the, the, the lineman to his guy. He good. good throw. In the red zone. Where is he going to run for it? Yeah, he runs for it. Oh! But he, he still has the athletic... Even though he didn't play like what the last two years, he still has the athleticism. He still has the speed. He's younger than Cam. He is taking less hits. Good throw on the run there. Back shoulder. See what it is. Good throw. Where Waller can get it away from the corner. So like the the the, the playmaking ability is there, right? What we would have gotten out of Wentz, we can get out of him as well. We don't have to pay the premium for him because look what Wentz just went for. And Wentz has actually showed he can win. Mariota has never really showed he can win. Sure he took Tennessee to the playoffs, but the success comparison, like Wentz should cost more than Mariota, in my opinion. And it's for 10 mil out for a starting quarterback, I'll, you know, with, with, you know, who has shown he can play in the NFL. I'm, I'll take that. So, I don't know. From, from what, from that, just that one game, you can see he still has it. Now we just need the weapons. We have to surround him with the weapons. Um, no, go back. All right, I got to turn it. Okay. So, with more, um, you know, with Mariota being a former Tennessee Titan, he's played alongside these guys. I, I think he plays. With, he's played with Jono. I know he's played with Corey Davis. So, they both might not be with Tennessee next year. Corey Davis balled out last year as like the number three option on that offense. Right? You got Derrick Henry, two thousand yards. AJ Brown. I think he saw a hundred plus targets. And Corey Davis did just fine. And John o. Smith, he's, you know, he's one of the tight ends that he can run. He's not, he's not Gronk with the hands, but he's faster than Gronk, at least. You know, maybe like an Aaron Hernandez. Um, so maybe we bring in both of these guys, John o. and Corey Davis. I'm high on both of them, actually. If, for those of you that saw my Patriots offseason video, I have both of these guys as targets I would like to take a look at. Or at least, like, you know, talk to. People where you can go. But maybe Corey Davis isn't a solid number one, right? He's a very good number two. Very good. Janu at tight end, he's already better than what we have. We don't have anybody. We don't have anybody at tight end. But outside of these two, these are there are more options here at receiver. Um I don't want to so of the nine here going to cross off the ones that I don't want at all. I don't want Will Fuller because he just can't play a full season at all. I don't think he never has. Juju Smith-Schuster because at this point, if we sign Corey Davis, I want somebody that can be like a number one. And Juju smith -Schuster. Proven. Uh, we've tried Antonio Brown. I don't think he wants to come back with how dirty Belichick did him, basically. Right, just picks him up and then just gets rid of him. If he's interested, we can bring him back. But I don't think he's interested. So 
That's the only reason why I'm saying Antonio Brown. Um, I'm, I don't know about T.Y. Hilton. He had an off year last year with Rivers. I don't know if he still has it. Um, but I'm going to blame the off year on Rivers. Uh, he's rumored. Uh, there's rumors that we're interested in him. Because obviously he's one of the cheaper options. You know, if we can get him for the cheap, you know, why not? But I'd rather have Corey Davis, Curtis Samuel, Galladay, or Godwin over Hilton. Um, I won't say no to Allen Robinson, but I think he's going to cost the most, as I said, as I've already said here. Allen Robinson, sure, but I think you have the highest price tag. And that alone, I don't think we'll, we'll have the interest in Allen Robinson. He's, he's, he's the best receiver here. Don't get me wrong. He's the best receiver here. But I think the price tag would be too much. Uh, I want to see what they do with Godwin. I'm pretty sure they'll just tag him. Um... And keep him with Brady. So I don't think he'll be available. Galladay may be available. And if he is, I, I'm in. I'm in on Galladay. I can go all day on Galladay. <laughs> um, like with watching highlights, like I, I'd take him. I don't know what it costs, but I'd take him. Um, what I've already said Corey Davis. And then Curtis Samuel. He's, you know, speedster. Take the top off the defense as well. So, I mean, there's, there's definitely plenty of options for receiver. And then other than that, there's, like, the draft. There's Hunter Henry, but I think the Chargers are probably going to tag him. Um, but in terms of quarterback, I don't want Jimmy G. Um, if we do, you know, I'll accept it. Can't do anything else about it. But I'm, I'm cool with Mariota. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with it. I'm okay with it. Like, I, I see nothing wrong with him. He's... he's 27, that's young. And plenty of years. And he hasn't played the last two. So he's healthy. He's 100%. There's, there's... We can even take Mariota and draft somebody in like the second or third round. So. I'm okay with it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Who would you have at quarterback with the names that are available? I don't see Hopkins, uh, Hopkins. I don't see Watkins and Dak being available to us. I don't think they'll be willing to give up so much. Um, the most I see them giving up is for like a Trey Lance, because you got to trade up for that. Um, but if not, I think our best option might be Mariota. The option I wanted was draft the rookie, you know, like Trey Lance or uh, Mac Jones, and you pick up like a Ryan Fitzpatrick, you know, as a bridge. I'm a fan of Fitzmagic. I'm a fan. So that's what I said in my offseason video. Um, running back, we're set at running back Damian Harris, Sony Michelle. Uh, bring back James White if he wants to come back on a, on a friendly deal. Um, if not, he'll probably end up going to Tampa to win another one with Brady. Uh, receiver, you got Jacoby Myers. He's at number three. I'm okay with that. We just need two more guys, whether it's somebody in the draft. And um, somebody we sign. Tight end. We don't have any. No. Y'all can say we have in the depth chart. We don't have any. So a lot of people are saying Kyle Pitts might fall to us. That's the case. Take him. Sure. But I, I'm hoping if we're taking Pitts in the first round that we find a way to take Mac Jones in the second. Or we trade up and for another, another pick in the first for a Mac. Or we get Mariota. And then we work after that. Yeah. That's the offensive side of the ball. Update. Rumors and my wants. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. There we go. Um, peace.